Hello, it's Dr. Jack Wolfson here, board certified cardiologist, and welcome to my presentation on hypertension, a natural approach. And we're gonna get started in just a minute. Hopefully there, there are no technical snafus. I'm using a new software called uh, Be Live, and hopefully that's gonna work for us as we go forward. So thank you so much for, for tuning in again. And just like we did on, on the presentation from last night, I re-recorded that, and that's gonna be live up on YouTube, uh, and it looks fantastic. So you're gonna absolutely love that. And once again, I'm Dr. Jack Wolfson. You're in the right place right now. You are live on Facebook, and so glad to have you here with us. And uh, we will get started with our presentation. So I'm Dr. Jack Wolfson of The Doctors Wolfson, and welcome to our live presentation of Hypertension, A Natural Approach. And also we can label this as get off the pharmaceuticals. And as a cardiologist, I'm very excited about getting you off of pharmaceuticals. So by attending this presentation, you will learn how high blood pressure can lead to a heart attack, stroke, and other things along with it. But the primary issue is what is causing the high blood pressure. And if we remove the cause, you will do very well. We're going to talk about nutrition and blood pressure. We're going to talk about how chiropractic care can normalize your blood pressure. We're going to talk about lifestyle changes to get your blood pressure under control. We're going to bash some of the pharmaceuticals and talk about how worthless they are for blood pressure. And then ultimately, we're going to talk about the best supplements to maintain the healthy blood pressure. We're going to offer you a supplements package as well that I have found to be very successful in my patients, and you will enjoy that same success as well. So we're going to talk about the supplements. We'll talk about the supplements package if you want to get that. And then also, uh, we're going to offer you a very, very special deal on that uh, on, on the supplements package. I do want to remind you that this presentation is for information only. Do not stop any pharmaceutical based on this information, please consult with your prescribing doctor. As far as sponsorship of this, this is not sponsored by any pharmaceutical company, as you will soon see why. Here's a picture of my beautiful family, my beautiful wife, the brains behind the operation here, and opened up my eyes to natural health and wellness after I spent four years in medical school, three years of internal medicine, three years of cardiology, and I'm in the big group for, for 10 years and then opened up my own practice in 2012, thedoctorswolfson.com and Wolfson Integrative Cardiology, where people from all over the world for all kinds of health problems come out to Arizona and see me. And I invite you to do so whenever necessary. And I want to tell you that um, uh, uh, it really is an honor for me to have you on my live event tonight. I am the author of the Amazon bestseller, The Paleo Cardiologist, The Natural Way to Heart Health, 17 chapters, 300 references, talking about why people have cardiovascular issues, why people have health issues, and how we're going to reverse it. Now, hypertension, high blood pressure, is rampant in society. 50 million Americans are labeled as hypertensive, over 1 billion people worldwide. But these people are not deficient in pharmaceuticals. We're built to have normal blood pressure. We're not genetically programmed to have hypertension. But our environment, our poor nutrition, our lifestyle, our behaviors cause the hypertension. Now, blood pressure drugs may lower numbers down, but they don't significantly change outcomes. Who lives, who dies, who has heart attacks, who has strokes, and I'll show you more. And we're gonna give you a better plan. And I think my plan in my book and here is the way to go. Now, what's scary is this here. 3% of children have hypertension. 16% of children are labeled as prehypertensive. This is one out of six children has prehypertension. Our children are sick and we have to take control and stop the damage to our young. Now, of course, the costs are astronomical, what it costs to treat all these people when we can do it naturally and we can remove the cause and therefore we will have the cure. 
Now, there's all different labels of hypertension, and the guidelines kind of keep changing of hypertension. Classically, normal blood pressure is below 120 over 80. That is the classic number, and I certainly believe that to be true. But high blood pressure is a problem over many years. Over many years, things can start to change. Things can start to change in your kidneys, in your heart, and in your brain. We've got plenty of time to make it right. We don't need to rush to pharmaceuticals. We don't need to go ahead and jump to big pharma. Now this is what happens when you have damage from high blood pressure. When you have the high damage from high blood pressure, you suffer from things like blindness and stroke and kidney failure and heart failure. These are some of the problems that people have. So, this is the stuff we want to avoid. These are the problems that we see. Um, I do want to invite you at this point, if you're liking the presentation, head over to the doctorswolfson.com to our newsletter and sign up for the newsletter. You are going to enjoy it. All right, the cause is the cure. Remove the cause of the high blood pressure and you will be cured. And I think we're having a little bit of technical difficulty again. And let's see if this is going to uh, improve it now. And uh, bear with me here. I don't know why the slide is not advancing um, to move to where we are now. It is moving on my screen and now we're good now. So the cause of the cure, remove the cause of high blood pressure and you will be cured. Paleo lowers blood pressure. It's in the literature, European Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Those that consume the hunter-gatherer diet, as I, we have labeled out in my pyramid here, organic, local, free-range, grass-fed, enjoying all the different spices. The spices lower the blood pressure. I'll talk about that later as well. But adding a lot of spices to the food, organ meats, adding the fermented vegetables as well, and the 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 wisdom of our ancestors the paleo diet is the original diet paleo stands for old stone age paleo stands for paleolithic prehistoric before recorded history before there was agriculture so all these heavy agricultural products corn wheat soy these are not paleo foods dairy is not a paleo food sugar of course is problematic as well so Paleo is not a fad. Everything else is a fad. Enjoy paleo nutrition. We got tons of stuff on our website as far as uh, the way to follow the, the diet, snacks on the diet, traveling while paleo. I've got so much stuff that I've put the time and money and the effort into putting on the website and it's all available there for you to learn and it's all totally free for you to gain that access. I want to tell you about some more paleo proof and forgive me for it's a busy slide, but I want you to have the science behind what we talk about, okay? They compared paleo to the diabetic diet and the diabetic diet is a total fraud. Um, uh, you know, I used to work in the hospitals and I would see people on the diabetic diet and they would have a stack of pancakes with sugar-free syrup. That's what we saw. So uh, paleo versus the, the diabetic diets, paleo saw blood pressure uh, drop, the diabetes group did not. The next study showed that when you have a low consumption of eggs and meat, your blood pressure was high. So eggs and free range grass fed animal products uh, are super duper healthy, pasture raised eggs, eat those foods, they're loaded with nutrients, everything that our ancestors have been enjoying for, for many years. Fish consumption is linked to lower blood pressure in several studies, and I got the references on there. So eat seafood, wild salmon, sardines, anchovies, add anchovies to your salad, add anchovies to your salad dressing recipe. We've got that on the website, extra virgin olive oil, lemon or apple cider vinegar, capers, Tremendous anti-inflammatory loaded with quercetin. Open up the spice drawer. Dump it into the salad dressing. Add an anchovies. Blend. You are good to go. Uh, and once again, uh, when you take even omega-3 supplements, uh, that is proven uh, to be beneficial for blood pressure. And when you test omega-3 cellular levels like we do out here in Arizona, in my office, we find that the people with 
highest levels have the lowest risk of just about everything. And in the literature it says that uh, high levels of omega-3 lower blood pressure. Um, those of, uh, it makes most sense. Obviously those who eat the most amount of vegetables and fruit have one quarter the risk of, of hypertension. So pack yourself full of green leafy vegetables. The foundation of our pe uh, paleo pyramid is vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. Uh, of course, beets are phenomenal. We'll talk about beets to lower blood pressure. Other sources of nitrates that get converted into nitric oxide, arugula, spinach, kale. The deeper, the darker, the green, the better the benefit. Purple cabbage over green cabbage. Uh, sea vegetables, all that stuff is going to be really, really important to blood pressure control. Um, uh, sodium is... is often thought of, you know, certainly classically as being bad for blood pressure. I don't have much of a problem with using a little bit of Himalayan sea salt, but I think you can overdo it. So I would be careful. And if your blood pressure is high, you may want to really try radically cutting back on salt. Certainly that garbage table salt and, uh, you know, growing up, we used to drive past the Morton Salt Factory in Chicago. Uh, that kind of stuff we want to avoid. And if we're going to use salt, it's going to be Himalayan. The only time I really get salt into my diet is going to be from eating canned uh, sardines and anchovies. Let the drinker beware, caffeine can raise blood pressure. Now, if you know Dr. Jack Wolfson, you know that I am a fan of uh, coffee. Uh, it is, I always drink organic coffee. I drink the best coffee in the world, which is called Purity Coffee. We have that in our office here. If you go to puritycoffee.com and you use the code Wolfson, you will get the coffee with the singest, high, single highest source of antioxidants. And with antioxidants, we can lower down oxidative stress. We can lower down inflammation. And if you're going to drink coffee, make it the best. Try and determine if maybe you should switch over to decaf. And Purity has the decaf. Just use the code Wolfson, and you'll get a deep discount on your purchase. So you can do decaf. You can do regular. Um, but uh, I think when, when you drink garbage coffee, you get garbage results. It may raise blood pressure. But uh, just be aware that caffeine consumption in general can raise blood pressure. So if it's a problem for you, you may want to avoid it. If it's not a problem for you, get the best in the market and you will do very well. Uh, okay. Uh, sugar, sweetened beverage, sugar in general, absolute poison, poison on so many different levels. Uh, your uh, your coronary arteries, your heart rhythm issues, your stroke risk, and of course your hypertension risk. So me, uh, I'm pretty famous uh, for, my, and especially when my wife tells the story, when we met, I was drinking uh, bottles of Mountain Dew and Diet Mountain Dew, all those artificial sweeteners, all those regular conventional sweeteners, all those sugars are absolute poison. And uh, I think pretty much everybody understands that, but uh, this is really an opportunity to get you to kind of back away from all those sugar sweetened beverages, cut back or get rid of it. And I think that also includes fruit juice. I don't see much of a reason for you to be drinking uh, fruit juice. And uh, in fact, I was talking to a patient this morning who came in and he was telling me he doesn't have any sugar. I'm like, well, what do you do for breakfast? And he says, well, you know, I take your protein powder, your daily defense, and I add in some of your daily greens, and I add in some of your heartbeat powder and your vessel support, all those good uh, blood pressure uh, things. And I add it to a glass of apple juice, and I'm good to go. And I was just, wait a second, I don't know where we missed the point here, but uh, apple juice is loaded with sugar. So we're going to avoid uh, uh, fruit uh, sweeteners. And also, uh, uh, dried fruit also is just packed with sugar, dates, uh, prunes, all those different uh, 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 dried fruits are just packed with sugar. Now, chronic pain is a horrible thing, and I think this is why you see your doctor of chiropractic, of course, for, for pain, removing the cause of pain. Pain, when you're under constant pain, uh, your catecholamine levels are high, epinephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine, and you're not going to do well. Your blood pressure is going to go up. So you got to get rid of the pain. Pain doubles the risk of hypertension. Air pollution. This is the city of Phoenix. This is bad. Air pollution is linked to everything bad. We talked about this on uh, previous webinars. We talked about it on the Truth About Cholesterol presentation, and I'm talking about it again here. Air pollution is is 
damaging. Air pollution damages everything. We know it damages the lungs, but it damages the blood vessels. It damages the endothelium of the blood vessels, and the blood vessels then shrink as opposed to expanding. So we need to get out of the air pollution as much as possible. Sometimes we can't control our environment. We can't leave the town that we live in that is so polluted. So we do our best to control our indoor environment. And wouldn't you know that air purifiers are known to lower inflammation and to help lower blood blood pressure. It's in the literature. I apologize. I did not list this on the slide. If you have any questions or want that slide, I'll be happy to just send us an email and we'll take care of that for you. Uh, we do have an air purifier that we represent. The link is on the screen here. We can put the link in the show notes as well. Uh, and on the Facebook link, uh, we, uh, we do, of course, this is from our website. We do make money on this, but I've got no problem with that. I'm doing the right thing. I'm selling a high quality product that gets results. And if you want to trust me and the fact that I get results and the fact that it's in the literature, this is the product you want to get. There's a bedroom model. We've got three of them running in our house full time. I got one of them in my office that's running right now. Um, and there you go. What about electromagnetic fields? All the different EMF around us, like I'm staring into a computer right now, and so are you. Um, all this EMF, what is that doing to us? Electromagnetic fields, cell phone towers, uh, the Wi-Fi in the house, the, the power grids, uh, the satellites, everything that's coming into our lives, we want to try and minimize that as much as we can. And there's a lot of mitigation strategies that I would certainly encourage you to do. At the very least, just go to the Wi-Fi router at night and press off. Just turn off the Wi-Fi at night. Don't, don't carry your cell phone on you whenever possible. It kills me when I see people that have their cell phone uh, tucked into their uh, uh, shirt pocket. Uh, or one time I was over at Whole Foods and I walked up to a woman who was wearing kind of like a you know, sports activity bra, walking around Whole Foods and she had her cell phone tucked in under one of the straps and I walked up and I said, excuse me, I'm a cardiologist and I gotta tell you, get that phone off your chest. It's sitting right on top of your heart. And she said, wow, would you believe that I get palpitations uh, all the time and my heart's skipping beats and it's terrible and nobody can figure out why. And I said, well, maybe, you know, that's that's one reason. So uh, this poor guy over here, He's got, uh, he's staring at that cell phone. He doesn't look too healthy. Staring at that cell phone, that light is coming right into his eyes, gets into the back of the eye called the retina and circles back into the brain and causes brain damage. Don't believe me? Here's the depiction. So the light's coming in. It's going in through the eye into the paraventricular nucleus. The suprachiasmatic nucleus goes up and down the cervical spine, which is the premise um, and the parlance of the chiropractor. That's why you see a doctor of chiropractic for cervical adjustments. More about that later. But as we come back up to the pineal gland, that's where we make melatonin. So if you get that artificial light coming in when we're supposed to be making melatonin, artificial light damages melatonin production and then you're done your blood pressure will spike so if you're watching this presentation and it's in the evening make sure you get out your blue blocker glasses which improve increase melatonin improve sleep and will help with blood pressure control and you can get glasses like this we sell them on a product uh, on a page called what we use and that takes you to link into Amazon so we can make uh, three cents on that on that transaction but uh, I'm a big fan of, of blue blocker technology, using these to help block out the artificial light. Heavy metals. Heavy metals are clearly linked to cardiovascular disease and to blood pressure because if things like magnesium are good and potassium is good to help normalize blood pressure, those things get interfered upon by aluminum and mercury and cadmium and arsenic and tin and all these different metals that don't belong in the body. Get them out of the body. Use detoxification uh, methods uh, as, as well. And we have a presentation that's going to be going up uh, soon basically how to detox uh, uh, from metals and you'll be, uh, you can link into that. Plastic, of course, is linked to cardiovascular disease. I'm very anti-plastic. I always drink out of glass, uh, never out of plastic unless I'm traveling. I'm going through airport security and I have to drink out of glass. But that being said, I'm sorry, out of plastic. Um, get a quality plastic. If you drink out of it, make sure it's BPA free. Always search for BPA free items. But what is also in plastic is other items that can be unhealthy as well. It's not just BPA. So in short, avoid plastic, uh, hormonal effects, stuff like that. Um, now we want to tell you to 
go to sleep uh, with the sun down and awake with the sunrise. Uh, it's very simple. Our ancestors went to sleep with the sun down. They awoke with the sunrise. They spent the day in and out of the sun naked. So we want to really embrace that sunshine. The sunshine just opens up the blood vessels. The sunshine increases nitric oxide, which will therefore lower blood pressure. The sunshine, uh, uh, of course, makes vitamin D and vitamin D lowers blood pressure. Vitamin D is a natural renin inhibitor for which the pharmaceutical companies invented a drug called Tecturna to do the same thing. But why not do it with vitamin D from the sun? If you don't get sun, vitamin D supplements can help you as well. So um, clearly that sweet spot of sleep is between eight and nine hours, but you, what you really need to do is to go to sleep shortly after the sun goes down. Um, and then you're going to naturally wake up before the sunrise, just like the chickens, just like the giraffes, just like the deer, just like animals in the wild. You're no different. You are an animal in the wild. Start behaving like one, please. Next, mental health. Mental health is a serious, serious problem. Um, we need to make sure that we do the best we can to mitigate that stress, lower our stress, our anger, our anxiety, our depression. Like last night when the podcast and the webinar wasn't working well, I got very upset. That was not good for my blood pressure, I'm sure. But uh, tonight I feel happier. Things are going a little more smoothly. So it is better for your blood pressure. Get help get a social worker get a psychologist deal whatever with whatever issues you need to deal with uh yoga meditation tai chi deep breathing just go into a quiet room and just close your eyes for a while address the mental health issues mental health issues equals cardiac risk and high blood pressure fix it okay uh what fits your busy schedule better exercising one hour a day or being dead 24 hours a day by randy glassberg and um, exercise and physical activity helps to lower blood pressure by 11 over eight points. That's big. That's just about as good as, as, you know, as any pharmaceutical and it's doing so naturally. Now, as I said, and I've said many times before, this is not me telling you to go to the gym and run on the treadmill for 45 minutes while watching the news. That whole combination between EMF, the, the toxins and chemicals that they use to clean that facility, the indoor activity, artificial light, lack of sunshine, and the stress of watching TV. That's five things that are super bad. Get outside, go for a hike, a bike, uh, a walk. Go for a walk in the morning, a walk in the evening. If it's freezing cold where you are in sub-zero, get all bundled up if you have to with just your eyeballs into the sun. Even if the sun's not out there, cloudy day, it's still getting through. You're getting the benefit of being outside like our ancestors have enjoyed for millions of years. Get outside and get active. Muscle building activities, uh, push-ups, pull-ups, squats, lunges, planks, all that stuff is super beneficial. Chiropractic care lowers blood pressure. Journal of Human Hypertension, 2007. The vertebral adjustment up in the cervical spine, lowers blood pressure 17 over 10. And this is what happens is that the brain, as you see on the left, is connected through the spinal cord and the autonomic nervous system to the blood vessels, to the heart, to all the organs. So if you have a vertebra that is out of alignment, just because you fell out of a tree when you were six, a car accident when you were 16, uh, uh, you were traveling when you were 26 and opened up the overhead bin and, and something fell on your head. That is why you need to see a doctor of chiropractic. Just living on planet Earth, fighting gravity on a daily basis. That is why you need to see your doctor of chiropractic. Go make them. When, when a, if you've got hypertension, go see your chiropractor and let them work with you. Get away from the medical doctors that are only going to prescribe pharmaceuticals because that's all that we're taught. Go to the chiropractor. Get your cervical spine adjusted ASAP. Whether you have high blood pressure or not, you need to be under the care of a chiropractor. I would say you need to see a doctor of chiropractic at least once a month, but dial in with a chiropractor and let them tell you what the plan is because they're the professionals. Let them come up with the plan for you. Find a good local chiropractor if you have problems in your area or not sure. Ask a friend. They likely see a doctor of chiropractic. If not, send us an email and we will help you out. Okay. 
we have next, we've got yoga. Yoga lowers blood pressure. It is because of its mental benefits, because of its physical benefits. I would prefer if you can find some form or way to do yoga outside. I think that would be of tremendous value. But do yoga, um, uh, however you embrace it. Sometimes, um, let me just say do yoga. That's all, that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. What about big pharma? Big pharma. What about all those pharmaceuticals? Are they going to be beneficial? Well, uh, let me tell you this is that here is uh, a nice advertisement for for my Cardis. And, uh, uh, you know, this is just this is a, a angiotensin receptor blocker, Telmasartan. Uh, and it does lower blood pressure down. But does it save lives? Well, this particular study says that uh, uh, angiotensin receptor blockers, like I just mentioned, increase cancer risk by 1.2%. Of course, I said that at the truth about cancer. So let everybody uh, be known that uh, not only does the actual pharmaceutical do it, but now there's been a lot of studies and a lot of recalls on pharmaceuticals that are generic because they contain cancer cause, known cancer-causing additives in there as well. So this is the angiotensin receptor blockers. Now this particular one called Benicar, this is an advertisement for the Sokolov uh, law firm uh, because they know that you've suffered intestinal problems. Why did they say that? Because of the Mayo Clinic in 2012, they found that there were 22 patients that had basically celiac inflammatory bowel symptoms that were not related to gluten exposure, they were because of the pharmaceutical. And then once they withdrew that pharmaceutical, the bowels miraculously cleared up. These are dangerous drugs. You're not deficient in Olmosartan. You're not deficient in Telmosartan. You're not deficient in any pharmaceuticals. Get that straight. There is always a way that we can fix this. Now in a scary fashion, here's a slide with the data showing that do blood pressure drugs save lives? And bear with me on this very busy slide over here, but we've been talking about the angiotensin receptor blockers. And so what does this author do? They tally up all the different studies, and then down here, if it's on the level one, it means there's no difference, it doesn't save lives. All cause mortality, no lives saved. Now the data gets better for the uh, ACE inhibitors. The ACE inhibitors do enjoy a mortality benefit, although recently it was found that ACE inhibitors are proven to increase risk of lung cancer death. So once again, you're not deficient in ACE inhibitors. You're not deficient, deficient in uh, angiotensin receptor blockers. You're not deficient in beta blockers. You're not deficient in the calcium channel blockers or all the other pharmaceuticals that they have. You're deficient in the healthy lifestyle. You're deficient in the sleep you're deficient in the sunshine, you're deficient in the chiropractic care, and you have an excess of environmental pollutants and chemicals and an excess of stress. Okay, as a reminder, once again, to stay up to date on upcoming webinars, upcoming podcasts, The Healthy Heart Show, all things health and wellness, sign up for our newsletter and we're gonna keep you informed. We're gonna just send it to you on a monthly basis. We're not gonna inundate you with newsletters, but this will kind of get you dialed in and stay in tune with the doctors, Wolfson. Okay, we've got evidence-based supplements. And in the background there, you can see some of our amazing stuff that we use for blood pressure control, lipid control, just a whole, uh, whole uh, uh, a beautiful, beautiful array of the best supplements from the best manufacturers studied and approved by the doctors, Wolfson. So this is my blood pressure protocol, the Wolfson BP uh, protocol. Well, I can go in there and adjust this. Okay, Wolfson BP protocol. And on this protocol, we've got the heartbeat, we've got the vessel support, we've got the Magnify, the potassium boost, and the cardiobiotic. So bear with me on this. Now, what I like to do is from our friends over at Berkeley Test, uh, and they're going to be with me out at the Integrative Healthcare Symposium coming up in a couple weeks. Just say no, nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, nitrogen oxygen, is floating around blood vessels and they're opening it up. Just like you think about nitroglycerin tablets, they help people with angina or even for blood pressure control. It turns into nitric oxide, opens up blood vessels. And we should do salivary testing on people. And I do salivary testing on all of my patients. So we want to, um, uh, how do we crank up nitric oxide? Green leafy vegetables, uh, arugula, kale, shard, as we mentioned before, all those green leafy vegetables with deep, uh, deep green color. But the best source is beets. Beets, 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 beets. 
And that is why we created our product called Heartbeat. And uh, the uh, the beetroots uh, beets are proven to lower blood pressure down. So uh, love me some beets, absolutely fantastic. Get them organic, no fillers, no sweeteners, no additives, just 100% pure uh, beetroot in here. Uh, and we just get phenomenal results uh, with the beets. Now with uh, with the beets, you also need a second pathway to increase nitric oxide. The third way to increase nitric oxide is through sunshine. I believe the fourth way to increase nitric oxide is with chiropractic adjustments, but sunshine increases nitric oxide and so does the combination of L-arginine and L-citrulline. So what did I do? I created a product called Vessel Support, L-arginine, L-citrulline, L-taurine, which are all evidence-based, and then also grapeseed extract, which helps to prevent the breakdown of uh, nitric oxide. And what is beneficial about that combination, heartbeat, vessel support, is that sometimes uh, we often refer that uh, to as the as the boner juice, the B juice, because it helps with erectile function, it helps with endothelial function, ED, and therefore it helps with erectile function, ED. So it's phenomenal. You know, uh, men are not deficient in Viagra, they're deficient in natural nitric oxide production, which can lead to endothelial dysfunction, can lead to erectile dysfunction, and can lead to the co topic of this conversation and lecture is hypertension. So heartbeat, vessel support, there's a combination, there's a picture of our two beautiful products with my lovely bride on the label. Okay, magnesium supplements, lower blood pressure. Magnesium is absolutely critical. The higher the amount of magnesium in your diet, in your supplements, in your water, the lower your risk of dying. Uh, magnesium is absolutely fantastic for this. I'm also a big fan of intracellular testing of things like magnesium of potassium. We do that out here in our office. We've got some of that information on our shop page and on our website. If you're interested, give us a call on that. Uh, the magnesium supplements are so critical when it comes to blood pressure reduction. And so are potassium supplements. Potassium supplements lower blood pressure 11 over 5. That's tremendous. That's just like any other pharmaceutical. So calcium causes contraction. Calcium blockers cause relaxation. What are natural calcium channel blockers? Magnesium potassium load up on those the only people that really would have danger on that but go ahead and check with your with your healthcare provider is um, people that are on dialysis so if you're on dialysis maybe this protocol isn't for you but for everybody else you are good to go but check with your doctor uh, cardiobiotics so what happens is is that maybe you're out there saying I still have high blood pressure but I eat the beets I'm doing all this stuff and even Wolfson I'm taking your supplements what's the missing factor you have to have good oral bacteria you have to eat fermented foods you have to take a good probiotic in order to create that oral bacteria that converts nitrate from the food NO3 into nitrite NO2 and then in the acidic stomach to make nitric oxide. So that's where the cardiobiotic comes in. 25 billion strain, 25 billion probiotics, 10 different strains specifically geared for cardiovascular health and wellness, but it's good for everybody. We give this to our kids. It's, it's just a phenomenal probiotic uh, that also has tremendous cardiovascular literature on it. So finally, we've got the Wolfson blood pressure protocol, as I said before, I've got the dosing on the screen there for you. You can go over to shop.thedoctorswolfson.com uh, backslash products BP protocol, or you can go to the shop page and search for BP protocol. We are going to put the links also into the comment section on Facebook here. And then, of course, this video, when it's all said and done, will go up to YouTube. So you can share it on Facebook, you can share it on YouTube, and you're going to get just fantastic information there. Um, and uh, I will come back to that slide one more time, but I just want to tell you, these are the 10 health commandments. So you're going to do this along with the supplements and everything is going to be just fantastic. Get responsible paleo, get the sunshine morning, noon, afternoon, sunburn, bad sunshine, good sunshine, lowers blood pressure and enjoy it. Get sleep when you're supposed to get active outdoors, drink high quality water, get chiropractic care. Get rid of stress, avoid the toxins, get grounded by walking and standing barefoot, preferably on the beach or in the grass. 
somewhere and then you get the quality supplements and again the best quality supplements i stand by i've been to the manufacturing facility i've seen what we do i've seen where where lousy supplements are made i can tell you we've done the research we get the results my patients get the results i've got testimonials all over the internet about what i'm doing heartbeat one teaspoon one to two times per day you, can, uh, you can't overdose on this, but if you go to two teaspoons, it's because your blood pressure is still a little bit higher. The vessel support, you can start with one teaspoon, go to two teaspoons a day as needed, add that to water, add it to my daily defense protein shake, which has phenomenal benefits of its own. Um, and um, uh, just don't add it to any kind of fruit juice or any kind of sugary beverage. Uh, the magnesium, I like to do that at bedtime, so you wake up with a nice glorious bowel movement and you are, have a natural calcium channel blocker that makes blood vessels relax. Potassium boost, you can do that one to two times per day as well. You're not gonna overdose unless you're in kidney failure on dialysis. And then finally, cardiobiotic, one cap per day. We're gonna bundle this all together. We're gonna give you 20% off the entire protocol here, and we're gonna offer free shipping on that as well. So you head over to the doctorswolfson.com and just search BP protocol. We're also gonna put this into the links. We'll have the links in Facebook, we'll have the links in YouTube, so you will be good to go. So I am done with uh, my portion of the presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that there's uh, fantastic comments that are becoming in. Uh, somebody asked about our beetroot powder and where it's coming from. It's actually US, Canadian, um, and um, uh, sometimes they have to source from Egypt. Now, the company that we use, they test it six ways from Sunday. So I don't even care if it came from China. Some of our supplements come from China, but uh, it's all tested. It's all third party tested. So um, and even if it comes from the United States, it has to be tested. Everything has to be tested for purity. When you get beetroot powder, how do you know it's beetroot powder? How do you know it's organic? How do you know it's not soybean flour with red number 40 dye and uh, high fructose corn syrup powder is the sweetener? You don't know. You have to work with a company that you trust. And we're getting fantastic results uh, there. Um, the uh, coronary artery vasospasms, the whole point is to crank up nitric oxide. Well, I've had a lot of people with coronary artery vasospasms, and that's happening because they have no nitric oxide. So when you crank up nitric oxide, as measured uh, here, when you use products like Heartbeat and the Vessel Support, you crank up nitric oxide. The sunshine does it. Get the sunshine coming into your chest, and you're not going to have those coronary vasospasms. Magnesium, potassium, yes, all that stuff helps, and I've seen it in my patients as well. Um, uh, I don't know, did I, I don't know if I ever said that, uh, someone mentioned beer, I never said beer, that's for sure. Um, what else here? Uh, oh, uh, so some of my uh, slides were being blocked by my face, I apologize uh, to that. We'll try and get better and better uh, for tomorrow. I appreciate all the, the fine commentary that you say. Uh, chiropractor, my chiropractor manipulates he does not crack my back or neck. Um, uh, I am a big fan of the chiropractic adjustment. It is the cervical uh, adjustment that's proven to uh, lower blood pressure. So please check that out. Uh, as far as obtaining a copy of the slides, email us at orders at the doctorswolfson.com if you want to do this presentation to friends, family. But the best thing, of course, is to show the, uh, the video. Um, there are, when it comes to blood pressure drugs, Obviously, you need to work with your doctor to get, to get off of those drugs, and it is going to be a slower wean process. But what you want to do is you want to have my supplements on board first and following the lifestyle first, and then you can reduce the drugs. But be careful. Your blood pressure can precipitously drop when you're following a new lifestyle and new supplements, and you're still on the pharmaceutical. So be real careful and even consider, you know, once again, talking with the doctor, hey, I'm going to need to get into a weaning protocol of these particular pharmaceuticals uh, because I'm gonna start getting uh, getting healthy. So um, what can I say here? Um, you know, um, what else? Uh, all is good, we're, we're looking good here. My buddy, uh, Michael Hill, uh, in the military, it was standardized before the sunshine, you see? Uh, all good over there. Uh, uh, phones have the blue light filters, do that. Um, Austin air purifier. We talked about that. Uh, the, the, somebody asked about a hole in the heart. Um, 
uh, that, you know, listen, a healthy lifestyle helps everything. Um, uh, Purity does have uh, K-cups, so uh, you can use those as well. And they're coming out uh, with a, um, a dehydrated version as well. They're testing that right now. I love, somebody asked about pomegranate. Pomegranate is inside of my daily defense. I love pomegranate. Um, uh, all those all those kind of berries, all those really rich, dense, dark uh, are fantastic for blood pressure reduction and antioxidants. Um, people often think of bananas as being high in potassium. I'm not into bananas at all. So uh, bananas have very little medicinal value. Uh, so let's get rid of that. Uh, Stephanie Miller, Julian is in the house. Love when she's in the house. Thank you. Um, and uh, just some great co commentary. It goes on and on and on. You guys are all fantastic. I love you all. I so appreciate you uh, listening, spending time with me, supporting the Doctors Wolfson. We're on a mission to change the world. So, um, you know, we appreciate your support when it comes to you getting the best quality supplements in the entire world. Uh, we've got the best stuff. You're going to get the great. Uh, great results. If you're a doctor or chiropractic on this and you want to wholesale our products, uh, feel free to give us a call uh, or email at the doctor's uh, orders at the doctor's wolfson.com. But, um, you know, Heather and I are very passionate and we want to, our goal is really to, uh, we're so passionate about the children. That's why it kills us when we see that 16% of children in the U.S. are prehypertensive. That is just um, insanity why that's going on. So we have to do our best to get rid of that and to move on from that and to end that. And we do that with nutrition early on as children and get them outside and get them unplugged from the electronics. These kids that are staring at the cell phone with it, they're, it we're, we're killing them. And that's, that's just, that, that's just horrible. So, um, Anywho, you know, once again, I appreciate all your support. We got just, uh, you know, you know, fantastic lifestyle recommendations. Check out our air purifier. Check out our water system on our shop page. Check out some of our supplements as well. I didn't talk at all about the daily defense protein powder, but you can add the, the heartbeat. You can add the daily greens. You can add the vessel support. Add that to our, our uh, super duper protein powder. Uh, which is our daily defense, uh, New Zealand grass-fed protein powder. Whey protein heals the leaky gut. It's New Zealand grass-fed. And whey protein is converted into a natural ACE inhibitor. So uh, this can lower blood pressure as well. Vitamins, minerals, no fillers, no garbage, low sugar, uh, just uh, loaded with phase one and phase two liver detoxificants uh, as well. Uh, what else? Anybody else? I know there's a million different comments uh, that are on here. Uh, hydrogen, someone asked about hydrogen water. I'm a big fan of hydrogen water, uh, hydrogen gas tablets that we sell on our website from uh, HRW. The hydrogen uh, tablets are absolutely fantastic. They're great for antioxidants. Uh, they help with endothelial function. So they are definitely uh, great for, uh, for blood pressure as well. And um, I think that's it. Uh, any other questions, email us at health at the doctorswolfson.com. Head on over to our shop page. We appreciate your support. We love you. And we'll keep these coming. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you.